When I came back from Mother Teresa's, I actually realized that I could not speak to a secular group and describe her through any language I had from the university. No secular language can describe who Mother Teresa was. Most people think, well, she loved the poor, she felt sorry for them, she went to work with the poor. That's not the truth. Mother Teresa had visions. Jesus told her exactly what he wanted to do, her to do. And their first work was not the work with the poor. Their first work was to pray unceasingly and belong to Jesus. And only from that work could they get the next work. But here I was in the university, a place that calls itself the free open marketplace of ideas. And I could not use a particular language not only because they wouldn't understand it, but because they didn't want to hear it. Well, God left me. He not only exiled me from Texas to California, which was bad enough. <laughs> still, we're still talking about that one. But he, he left me in the secular university. I thought this radical conversion, I'd be a great missionary to Africa. I mean, as far around the globe as I could get wouldn't have been far enough. But I had to stay there. And I do stay there, and I do in lots of ways love it. And I have to tell you that my younger colleagues, the new colleagues that are coming in now, they don't even know they're secular. I'm not even sure I knew I was secular, even though I had gone to church as a child. So I think one of the things that we, have to, that we have to know about worldviews is that every secular worldview is a distortion of Christianity. And I think Nancy actually said that last night about materialism. What happens is that they leave out some of the essential principles of Christianity. It adds some principles that are absolutely not true. And therefore, it doesn't even hang together because Christianity actually offers a higher rationality. Leslie Newbigin always called it a higher rationality. C.S. Lewis said, man is like a tower, and the various floors cannot be reached from one another, but they can all be reached from the top floor. That's why when you become a Christian, you have a different kind of wisdom. You can see things from a different place. 